so guys So today So today is day 3. This is a crusader and tumbrel day. So we have the C1 spirit. Let's load the booklet. Anything good in here? So, C1 Spirit is a multi roll, medium freight, two man crew, all 64 SEU of cargo. Not that much comparably with the next RSI ship. Cargo ship will hold like 140. Size 2, size 2, field power plant. Cooler size 2, quantum drive size 2, missiles size 4 and size 3. Rear turret is a size 2 tractor beam. So not very good. All size 2, one shield generator is not good. The explorer version has two. So. Hi Junoki, what's up? Welcome, what is this? So Hi, Ju. The game is free to play right now. You can use the uh, pinned comment above to set up your account. Uh, it's free until the 30th. If you make your home new Babbage, you can spawn at the event hall and check out all these ships in real time. We're about to go to the event hall pretty soon. I'm just looking over the website right now. But you'll be able to uh, rent all these ships for free. And try them out, even the lame vehicles. So, yeah, give it a shot. Download the game, set up an account using the link pinned above, and uh, you can play for free until the 30th. Okay, after that, you will need to buy a game pack, but let's check out this. Let's check out the store. Village store. Okay, so game packs. So these are the game packs that are available right now. Cheapest one is uh forty dollars US, and then forty five. But if you're going to get a game pack, I suggest either the Alien Ship or the Cutter, one of the two. <laughs> so either one of these is the one I would pick if you're going to start a do a starter ship in the game. If you want to buy it later. But try it for free until the 30th. See if you like it. Um, it's more fun with friends. So share that link with all your friends. And everybody gets in for free. You can all pilot these ships. Like You can have multiple people on the ships, not just by yourself. Like this one, you can have like two or three people. This one, two or three people. Uh, you get to some of these bigger ships. You can have like four to six people in here, four to six people here. 10 people to 10 to 12 here. You can have 12 plus on this thing. And then the ships just keep getting bigger and bigger. And you can have more friends play with you. So it's multiplayer is great. It's a great game to have. 
try out the ground vehicles that's a uh, big in the show today just remember new babbage new babbage new babbage that's where you want your spawn to be okay so that is the uh, end of that so let's see what creator crusader ships are available we have the a1 spirit which is the bomber if you watched our video yesterday uh it's in the vods as well we played around with some of the bombs here uh, c2 hercules this is a military variant or the a2 military variant it's a uh, heavy armor less cargo Ares Inferno, big huge Gatling gun for taking out capital class ships. Ares Ion, this uses a laser cannon for destroying huge ships. You have the C1 Spirit, which is a cargo variant of the A1. It only carries cargo. We have the C2 Hercules, which is the cargo variant. It carries ships and cargo. E1 Spirit is not in the game yet. This is like a luxury uh, liner, like an aircraft liner. You could carry people to and from stations or planets. So it's like passenger gameplay. Same thing with this one. It's a passenger aircraft, like carrying people to and from different places. And then the big bad boy, M2. This one has the bombs and everything, so... Boom, boom. <laughs> Mercury Starliner. This is good for uh, exploration and cargo. It has uh, inspirations from Millennium Falcon and Star Wars. And then back to the A1. Any specials today? Uh, Warbond deal, Mercury Starliner. Okay, so, like I said, these are the two game packs I would get. But if you use the referral link, you can play for free until the 30th. Let's see the standalone chips. Okay, we're going to do these price cheapest to most expensive. So what do we got? Today? PT buggy. See, if you buy these ships under standalone, you only get the ship. You don't get game pass access. Right? So you bought the ship, but you still can't play the game. You have to buy a game pack to play. And then you can buy these extra on top of it. Or you can just buy them in-game. Everything is available in-game. You don't have to use real money. The only thing you have to use real money for is the game pack itself. Uh, these are the Ranger. It's like a motorcycle. Very cool, but ground vehicles don't work too well right now. Uh, if I would buy anything, I'd buy something that hovers. Just because, like, these things hit a rock, they stop dead in their tracks. This thing will just, like, float over everything. So it's a little bit better for ground right now. But these eventually, once they, they work out all the kinks, these, uh, these will be better. Like all these little ground vehicles. We got the Nox. Hover motorcycle. We got the Mule. Cargo carrier. The Cutter. Like I said, buy the Cutter or the Alien ship. Those are the best starter ships. And we got the Rock, which is a ground-based mining ship. The I-Series, which is like a luxury tile ship. We got the Ares. These are pretty decent fighters. And then more ground vehicles. We got the Cyclone. This one has a minigun. The new Alien ship. Like I said, another good starter ship. If you're just getting into it. The Arrow. Decent combat ship. We got the Rock DS, which is another mining variant, but more powerful. Got the Nomad. Not too bad of a ship. Cyclone AA. Shoots missiles. You have the new Storm tank. This one is the cannon it shoots uh, two laser repeaters on top and then this one is the anti-air missile one let's take a look at that yeah not bad though storm a lifetime insurance very good you do have to go to a like an outpost to rearm though same thing with this centurion is like an aa a little bit bigger 
This one uses uh, lasers. There's another one with missiles as well. But I think this would be a better missile carrier than this. Just because it's smaller and it's a tank, has more armor. We have the Cutlass. And then the C1 Spirit. So the new cargo ship. They just brought this out in the game. We have a couple of alien ships here. The Talons. They're good for like diving in, shooting off some shots, and then leaving out. There's a Nova tank. Big. This is a big daddy tank. Uh, this versus this. Yeah, uh, the big daddy is always going to win. This is a, a no-brainer. Like two shots, and this thing is blown up. Like this one is more for like ground vehicles, like versus this kind of stuff. So these two would be fighting each other kind of deal. If you want a, like a, a tank tank, yeah, just stick with the Nova. You, you can buy all these in-game too. You don't have to pay real money. But if you pay real money, you own the ship forever. And you get a couple of extra perks and stuff. This is the Ballista. This is the anti-missile one. So you have the uh, cannons right here. And then you have the missiles here. Got the Freelancer, decent all-rounder ship. The Mantis, this is a pirate ship. So if you wanted to do pirate gameplay, like uh, stealing cargo or stealing someone's ship, you would want this one. Because this ship can stop them from fast travel and pull them out of fast travel. So if somebody's fast traveling between planets, you can pull them out with this and attack them. It's one of the few ships that can do it. And then this is a missile boat. This is the uh, the new passenger gameplay one. The Zeus's not bad. You have a exploration, a cargo, and then this one is kind of like this one. It's like a bounty hunting ship. It does the same stuff as this. It's just sleeker and a little bit more expensive. Prospector, got uh, mining. If you want to do mining gameplay, the more alien ships. Got the Vulture for salvage gameplay. Uh, single player salvage. Maybe uh, two player salvage. You got the Saber Comet. Pretty decent ship. Constellation, this is multiplayer. So if you have five friends or more, this is a good ship to have. The Vulcan is a rearm repair. Refuel ship. And you got a couple more alien ships here. This is the Crab. If you can tell, it looks like a Crab. Especially when it extends out. Funny, funny alien ship. This is the Raylan Cargo, the cargo ship from Alien Side. And then these ions, these are like to attack bigger ships, like Corvettes or Capital ships, is what these are designed for. So if you want to do like big gameplay fighting bigger ships, this is what you want, these two. Got the Star Runner. Couple more alien ships here. Got a stealth bomber ship here. The mole, which is the big, uh, big mining ship. But there's word there's going to be another one coming out. A couple days, a bigger one. Redeemer. Now this ship, if you want to do a PvP gameplay, this is a ship to have. It has cells in the back, so you can put your captured enemies in. Huge guns. Huge guns. Like, this has some of the biggest guns of any ships out there. Right? Look at that. Look at that gun. That gun is huge. Right? It's got a regular size 4 repeater, and then it's got a size 5 behind it in the turret. So you need, you need other people to fly with you, but if you had somebody in that, and you had somebody on this top one, which is also size 5, there's no way you lose a battle. No way. It's just an awesome ship. So if you want a really cool ship, this is one I would work to if you're going to do PvP. The Redeemer. That's what you want. Right? You can purchase it in-game. Just get your starter ships going. Uh, now it's free flight. So if you want to make quick money in the game to try out all the ships, I would buy. I'd rent this one for today and spend all day doing cargo. 
you'll at least get two million three million by the end of the day and you'll be able to afford this ship this ship that ship you know or you can get this and do salvage this is still rentable hammerhead this is a 14 player or more ship it's got five huge turrets with size fives on them four size fives so this is like a big ass gunboat very 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 good nautilus this is a mine layer this is the big bomb big bomber the a2 we have the idris these are capital ships and the javelin uh these you can't buy you can't fly in game sorry can't fly in game but still cool still cool they're here those are all the uh new ships for today and all these ships most of these ships are rentable so if you want to rent it you can rent packs they upgrade the packs oh yeah so you can get both tanks 165 or you can get all three of these for 400 <laughs> and a couple of these are big board packs get all the motorcycles for 700 <laughs> all right so i think that's all the stuff let's go to the event hall and check it out All right, let's get in here. So like I said, you want to set your start point for new Babbage, right? This is where the event hall is. I'll make it a little bit easier getting around, you know? Let's go check out the event hall. That is. Okay. I'm gonna dress up. 
somewhere. Plague helmet on. Where's my yellow? My yellow chest. Let's see, did I have a yellow under? Let's see. We'll just keep this one. Okay. Yeah, I think we look cool. Looking good out there. I don't see any weird ships flying around. There's the uh, spaceport right across from us. And then right behind us is the event hall. Can't see it. I think we're on the side of it. All right, let's go down. Watch out, I'm infected. Don't come near me. Watch out, I'm infected. Watch out. Oh, there's a free helmet there. Somebody wants a helmet. Can I, can I, uh, yeah, I can. Hey, try not to stand too close. I'm infected. I got that COVID, man. Better watch out. Better, better put your helmet on. That guy. Look, this guy is safe from COVID. That's for sure. All right, so we're going to the event hall. Should be coming up here pretty soon. Okay, yeah. Whoop. Whoop. Glitch through the map. Did you find her? Little baby mama. All right, okay, Fenton Hall is this way. There's uh, the new system, Pyro. Apparently, people don't like you flying alien ships, so they damage this area and are boycotting. Lots of small details in the game. Okay, real quick. Put the helmet down. Need that drink of water. Right there. My thirst was low. Okay, we're gonna litter because we are. We are a plague demon and we, we don't care. Yes, we're going to the Apex Hall. You see behind me today's Crusader, Tumbrel Day, tomorrow 
this origin. Let's go, let's go. All right, what's at the top? Yes, we are here. So here are all the uh, the C series. You have the A2, C2, and the M2. Huge cargo ships. Then we got the tanks on display. Awesome. Remember, guys, you can come up to any of these ships in the event hall and rent them for the day for free. And fly them, do whatever you want with them. They'll be available to you all day long. These are the best cargo haulers. If you want to try cargo gameplay and make a lot of money, this is what you want. You want the C2, baby. C2, over 600 pounds of cargo. Or SCU, which is probably about 6,000 or 60,000. But yeah, you can fill this whole bay up with cargo. And you'll see when we do the M2, this section right here will have bombs, huge size 10 nuclear bombs. But right now, it's just a cargo room. And it's neat because you have drive on, drive off ramp. So if you have tanks or other ground vehicles, you can drive them straight on and straight off through and through so we're going to check out the the a2 the interiors are almost the same uh the military variants have more uh, weapon storage armor storage in them but other than that everything else is pretty much the same but we're just going to check out the bomber because this one m2 okay yeah the m2 and the bomber are basically the same thing it's just a this has more cargo and no bombs. This one here, this is the boy you want. You want to blow some stuff up, have some fun? Rent this, baby. The A2. You get those size 10 bombs. Just make sure you, you fly away really quick. But we'll check them out. We'll check out the size 10s. And then we'll check out the uh, tanks. It's one of my... Favorite manufacturers who love their ships. Like I said, check out the uh, past stream yesterday. We played around in the uh, the C two or the is it A two or C two? I think this is a this is a C two. We flew around in the A two, the smaller one of this. But look at those things, mother of all bombs, huge nuclear bomb. When these things go off, it creates a huge flash. So cool. Look at these dudes. Hey, guys, watch out. Don't stand too close to these bombs or you'll look like me. <laughs> All right, let's join this guy. I think he's going to go up to the uh, habitation deck. Bye. What you looking at? <laughs> All right, so this is a uh, turrets. So you do have some uh, turrets on the outside of the ship that your friends can pilot and use. There's a full size armory, weapon racks here. You got a bench, more weapon racks, and these are suit hangers. So you can put your uh, armor suits and stuff inside here. Then across, these are the engines, of course. Got a nice engine there. And then we got the jump drive back there. Ooh. Make you go blind. This is a habitation. So you and, what is it, eight of your friends can log in and log out right here. 
and each person has their own storage so if you get gear on a mission you can have it separate from everyone else shower and toilet Boom, there we go nice toilet right there same thing here open I think that toilet's broken. All right. And then you do have some more storage here. Moving on to the front, these are all like component, component areas. And then we have some escape pods here. So you got eight escape pods and here you go. So this, there's a gunner seat here for the lower gun. Pilot seat and co-pilot seat. Really cool ship. Lots of fun. So playing with friends, definitely give this one a try. Or if you're going to do cargo. There's a ladder here, so you can go down using the ladder. Or you can use the elevator, one of the two. All right, let's check out the tanks now. So these tanks are pretty wide. They don't fit in a lot of vehicles. Uh, you can fit all these tanks inside these chips easily. So we can rent the tank. You go down to the planet, you can play with it. Let's see, we're going to open the pilot canopy so you can see where the pilot seat is. It's, uh, the pilot seat takes you inside there. And you see the tanks? Oh, the so, that's the baby tank. This is a big tank. You see? Look at it. The cannon. The cannon's huge. See, the cannon on this one will kill the little tank in like three shots. Or you got the missile baby. The missile boat. This one's the one to get. If you're going to get one of these little tanks, this is the one. Because it shoots missiles. You can attack ground or air vehicles with this yeah. thing. So if you want the little ones, I would get the AA. That's the one to get. A baby one don't have missile? No. You got the, you got the cannon up top. Or you got the missile. One of the two. This one has just a big cannon on top. So inside of this one, a little bit more room. You have a gun rack. You have a, a gunner seat for the top mounted gun. Mm -hmm. You have a co-pilot and the main pilot seat. See? Okay, little tank. Mm -hmm. See a dude walking around over there? <laughs> pretty cool. Pretty cool little tanks. Like I said, this little missile thing right here is what I would go for. Then you can open up all this stuff. So even like I don't want to rent you. I want to open this button. No, not yet. I'm just going to upload the stream when I finish the stream. So you saw the back of the, uh, the A2, right? You guys saw the back of the A2 with the bombs. This is the back of the M2. It's the same as the C2, but yet it holds less cargo. I don't know how or why, but it just, it doesn't hold as much cargo as the other one. Even though it has the same open space. It's weird. They started inputting this new, like, lighting system into the game for these ships. It needs to, what it's supposed to do is it, it's supposed to project on the ground behind it. It's going to once they update it so you'll have that red lighting all right let's check out some of the other vehicles maybe the uh the one series because these are the twos so c2 a2 m2 and then we have the ones the c1 a1 and the i think e1 so let's check this out what's this probably going to be
All right. So this, yeah, we got the infernos here and the mercury. So these ships are designed to take out bigger ships like the hammerhead and stuff like that. I mean, look how big the cannon. The cannon is like as big as the cockpit. It's crazy. So this uses the uh, energy weapons, single shots. Uh, this is a Gatling gun, so it uses uh, like bullets, like real bullets. So you will run out of ammo with this one. But just look at that thing. Of course, you got your missiles underneath. You can rent this as well. These are rentable. You see, that it's got a fuel port, so you can refuel in space. That gameplay is coming into the game soon, so you can refuel. Just some somebody buys the refuel ship, they can refuel you. This is the uh, explorer ship. Got a bottom turret, and I think a top turret as well. I don't want to rent it, but you guys can. If you want to rent it, you can rent this thing. It's got decent cargo. It will hold the vehicle, and it's pretty quick. Pretty nice little ship. I approve. I, I definitely approve of that ship. I wish I could zoom out. No. Ah, I wish there was a zoom out. And selfie cam, they want you to be really close. Okay, to the next hall. Makuban, what's up? Buddy Cobb, welcome to the stream. The buddy Mike. Let's see, I want a burrito. We're gonna go cheddar and ham. Okay. okay, so I need to. I, I still got time. I don't have to eat yet. What do you guys think of the uh, ship so far? So this is Crusader Event Hall. These ships are more uh, military focused, but like I said, the C two over there, you can use them for cargo, make tons of money. Like that's how I get rich in the game is either salvage or cargo. But if you want to have fun, rent the A two. Or the A1. You got size 5 bombs here in the A1. And you have size 10 bombs in the A2. So mini nuke versus real nuke. So this is the A1. Right here. We played with this ship yesterday. Crusader A1 Spirit. See, that's the, the lighting that's behind the, the C2 series. But the A1, it comes on the ground. C2, they haven't put this in the game yet, but... You see the LED? Anything it shines over turns red. It's cool. And here we go. Look. These are size fives. So a little bit smaller than the size 10 we just saw. But still very powerful. Watch the video from yesterday and you'll see. And then this is the C1. This is the cargo version of that. So they get rid of the bombs and now you have more cargo space. But you only have cargo space for right here and right here. The middle is always open. So it's not that much cargo. So if you're looking at these ships, they look awesome. They look super cool. You got four cannons on it. This one, you have a gun turret on top. This one, you have a tractor beam turret. So you lose the gun turret for the cargo version. But decent firepower. They look sleek and clean. Very good ships. I love my, my A2. Awesome. Or my C A1. That's right, A1. Big ones are twos. Small ones are ones. Let's see, this is a display for the mining. 
So you have ground miners, you have space miners, you have hand mining. There's lots of variations to play in this game. You can play it however you want to play it. And you can try to sell the raw ore, or you can take it to a refinery and refine it down to this and get more money. Which we will be playing some refinery gameplay soon. One of the ships I purchased that's not in the game yet has the ability to become a refinery. So we can find people that are mining out in space and we can charge them money to refine their ore so they don't have to go all the way to a space station and we can make some money off of them. Pretty cool. Yeah. So this is. No, I don't want to buy. I want to press the button. I mean, I don't want it to rent. I want to put spot. So look at these uh, turrets. This is the A2. This is the bomber. But look at these turrets, man. These things are... You get a couple of friends on here. Because these one are pilot controlled. And these are... Like, you have to have your friends control these. So you got that one. This one. That one. And then there's another one under the nose. Like I said, you get like four or five friends in this thing, you can destroy anybody. And look at these babies. Size 10 bombs, man. These things create a huge flash, nuclear explosion. You can watch them drop. Like these doors open, they move into position. It's freaking cool. Cool ship. Lots of fun. Gucci, you watching Gigi Banda? All right, let's see what's in the next hall. So this says cargo. I guess that's it. It's only uh, these two halls in this section. All right, let me see the map. Yeah, just those two halls, but let's check out the ground. Ground floor, there's some stuff on the ground floor as well. And then tomorrow there will be more stuff. A new manufacturer will come in. So more ships. So stay tuned every day if you want to see the new ships that come out. Remember, you can free fly all week, this week and next week. So you can play the game for free if you end up liking it. Use the pinned comment to set up a uh, account. I forgot to set this up. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. Yeah, so use the pinned comment to set up an account. And you will get some free in-game money to start out with to help you on your way to get bigger ships. What's up? Don't stand too close, I got COVID. Yeah. We got the, uh, we got the infected suit on today. They're looking kind of cool. Maybe we came across some kind of alien spore or something. All right, so what do they have down here today? Tumbrel Ranger RT. Tumbrel Landing System Combat. With a powerful frame, proprietary X Tech adaptive tread tires, and reactive response precision steering and braking, the Tumbrel Ranger lets you embrace. The renegade spirit of the open road while staying thoroughly grounded. But adventures don't always go as planned, so the Ranger RT comes equipped with dual weapon mounts to make sure you're more than covered. So this is a the motorcycle that we saw on the uh the website. This will be coming out soon, but If you watch the uh, beginning opening, yeah, ground vehicles are not in a good place right now. So I would wait for something that is like hover, hovercraft. This is the Starliner, so this is going to take passengers. 
gonna have passenger gameplay you'll take ai or real players to different stations and stuff anything over here okay so these are more of the uh cyclone yeah mounting gun this one has aa rockets and this one has a mixture of both you got mounting gun and some missiles on there like I said, mini tank AA is what I would go with. I probably want to go with these. I would go with the mini tank just for the armor. So yeah, so mini tank. Definitely want to go with the AA version. So I would go with this one, the AA. Uh, this is cool and all, but I think this one's a little bit better. And then the uh, Nova, if you want a big tank experience, yeah, go with the Nova. And all three of these vehicles will fit into any of these ships. If you drive it on, drive it off. So cool. All right, let's go to the uh, next hall. Let's do the next set of ships. Watch my spores. Whoop. All right, so this is what the calendar looks like. Today, right now, we're Crusader Tumbrel Day. Tomorrow is going to be Origin. These are luxury ships. Then Drake. These are more industrial. Cargo. There's a lot of cargo stuff. And then Anvil Aerospace is more military focus. Mirai. Misk. These are more uh, cargo mining kind of ships. And then RSI is the creator of the game's ship company. So these have a lot of military focus ships. Then 26 is best to show new weapons and armor. And then 27th to the 30th is final. So you have all the ships available for rent. First, let's go to the uh, top hall. What's up? Stop, they're chasing me! Stop! Alright, this is Argo. One of my favorite manufacturers because it has my reclaimer, my big boy, my big salvage. Love that ship.
All right, let's check it out. So we have the Saber Comet, which is a pretty cool ship. It's a little big, but it's fast, a little stealthy, and decent armaments. Then we have the Saber itself. Like I said, the Comet is so much cooler. Then we have the Reclaimer, Big Boy. Big Daddy Salvage. I mean, just look at that claw. How big that thing is. Huge, huge, huge. And these are the thrusters and landing. That's why it's got so many hydraulic joints and it's got to carry all this weight. Just imagine how much that arm weighs so by itself. Crazy. Let's get the elevator. You got the rear section. This is where your salvage and stuff is. Big ship. So cool. This is cargo at the whole sea.
All right, had to get a screencast of that just to check it out. And then here we go, Hammerhead. And then let's get this burrito action. Yeah, let's eat our burrito. There we go, food's up. Okay, armor again. Our plague helmet. Plague helmet. All right. Gladius, these are really good fighter ships. Good. Two size two missiles and what size are these? I think these are size three. Cool minigun. You can change out all the weapons, all the components on all the ships, so you can make a ship how you want it. Like this baby right here. See, he's got size ones. Right here. S1. Size one missiles. Got a laser repeat, a laser cannon on the side. Size three missile. And you got a laser repeater up front. I think this is a size, size four. Yeah, size size three or four laser repeater. So these ships are pretty pretty powerful in battle. You got the hammerhead here. So if you want to rent with friends for the next two weeks, this is a, a good one to have. Because you can have up to five friends and five different turrets all the way around the ship. Look at these guns. These are size. I think those are size five repeaters. So each gun has four size five repeaters on it. You will make short work of any ship. It's kind of a weird ship because it's really long. And you have these, uh, these legs that kind of fold out like this. So you're kind of close to the ground, but this is the bridge underneath. There's no view on top. Everything is underneath for the pilot. It's weird. So you can't see anything that's above you. The thrusters. Like I said, you got another cannon in the back here. If we go underneath the ship, it's kind of like a tripod. Yeah, see it's got one single rear leg. Two front legs, kind of weird. As we come down the center, and you look up, you can see all the way through. So it's hollow in the center. You got two walkways on either side, though. That looks like a thruster. This is the bridge. See inside there, you can see the uh, pilot seat. Right there. Very cool. But yeah, guys, it's the event hall. I hope you guys liked it. Be sure to use the uh, pinned comment to download your copy of the game for free until the 30th.
uh, come to New Babbage to the event hall, and you can download, you can rent any of the ships and fly for free. Oh, my bitrate is choppy. Choppy bitrate. I'm sorry. Sorry, guys. Maybe it'll clear up. But thank you guys for watching. Uh, we'll be on later this afternoon, morning for you, maybe. If you want to come back and uh, have some fun, we'll do some salvage, maybe some uh, exploration or some FPS gameplay. We'll go down to a bunker, do a bunker mission. The AI is supposed to be improved a little bit, so we will check it out and see. Anyways, thank you for watching, guys. Please uh, remember to like, subscribe, and follow for more. Later. Swadeja!